Hi, so I'm taking a walk through a mostly coniferous wood. As you can see, that it's almost exclusively behind me um, conifers, but there is the odd oak tree dotted around, and I found on the base of one of the oaks one of the easiest mushrooms to identify. It, 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 there's nothing else it can be. Um, it's edible, and if you come across one, you're very, very safe to to give it a go. So this is called the beefsteak fungus. You can see by the, the colour and the size, it's a very distinctive mushroom. So I'm gonna pick a bit now and then show you a few other shots closer up of it. But it only grows on oak or chestnut. And if you come across this mushroom, you're, it's, it's impossible to mistake it for anything you need to worry about. See, there's another one under there, so I'm going to cut a bit off just through here. There you go, you see the cross section there? It's quite slimy on the top, feels a bit like tongue, which gives it its other name, which is the ox tongue fungus. And as I said, it's it's very, very, very safe. One of the easiest mushrooms for anyone to identify. Um, the downside is that it's not my favorite mushroom to eat. Um, it can be a bit tangy. Um, so I've read on the internet, uh, people suggesting soaking it in milk or cooking it in milk. Um, I don't tend to do that. Um, perhaps I'll give it a go with this one. Um, what I tend to do is I'll just use it as a, a small amount of it in with other mushrooms when I'm doing a soup or, or some kind of, maybe a like a, a tagliatelle type dish, something creamy and um, something that's gonna counteract the acidity of it. But it's, the, like I say, the, the most, the best thing I can say about it, the best thing about it is that it's just so easy to identify. So if you're out looking for mushrooms and you come across something that looks like this growing on an oak or a chestnut tree, you've got yourself um, an edible mushroom. Well done. Cheers.